guys! I wanted to share a recent little thrift haul that I did. I headed over to my favorite crossroads here in San Francisco on Irving. I always find the best stuff when I go there. And so, you guys, this haul is just like perfect for fall. I am so excited about it. It's probably my favorite haul that I've ever shared. So I also forgot to mention, I'm going to try everything on for you guys at the end. So don't X out before you get to the end. Okay, so I want to share, this could be possibly my favorite thing that I got and I'll tell you why. This a bright neon red, I don't know, I think it's like a neon red color. I didn't even know red could be neon, but you guys know how I love bright colors and red and I feel like it's just like such a fun piece that I could pair with so many different looks that'll really just kind of like give the outfit a lot of character. And I think that's why it might be like one of my favorite pieces that I got. My baby's crying. <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay. So baby's here on the floor now next to me. So I can keep filming. Um, okay. So I also got this fuzzy hat. Now I remember seeing these hats last winter and um, fall. Um, and I wasn't a huge fan of them, but now, I don't know, I'm kind of converted. I think they're kind of fun. And uh, my friend Kristen says it's like a Russian hat or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know, it's just different. And I think it would be fun to kind of use and accessorize for the fall. So there's that. Okay, so this is a really beautiful bright turquoise cardigan with this really pretty red beading. So this is actually ASOS brand, um, surprisingly. But the reason I gravitated towards it is because I just really liked the bright colors and I liked the fun beaded design. I thought it made it like really unique and kind of more of a statement piece instead of just a plain, instead of just a plain blue cardigan. So yeah, I could wear it buttoned up. And also best part, it looks good with the beanie. <laughs> they match. Okay, next. Okay, so this is probably my second favorite piece that I got. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is a vintage little cardigan. It's so cute. I am like in love with it. Um, I love how it has this like little collar at the top here and it's notched and then it has these little fabric covered buttons. Also, I think it will go great with my beanies. Um, yeah, it's just like this bright, I don't know, highlighter yellowish greenish? I'm not sure. Um, but I just really wanted to have fun, you know, this fall getting dressed and I feel like this will be a really great piece to add to kind of stand out. Okay, next. This is like everything that I've ever wanted in one top. Can't let that binky fall out. <gasps> it's okay. Okay, so this is a vintage blouse and it has the big collar that I've been so into lately. And if you guys haven't uh, looked at my, I have a highlight on my Instagram. Um, I think it's designers or runway. Can't remember what it's called. But um, basically I put a lot of like designer inspiration on there and there's this brand called C New York, and I have been so obsessed with like all of their collections lately. They're just so beautiful, and they have, this really kind of reminds me of something that C New York would do. Um, they have these like really big collars um, on a lot of their stuff, and I've just been wanting to get one of those blouses, but they're like $400, I don't know, they're like way too expensive. So anyways, I found this vintage one, and it's authentic. And not only does it have the collar, it also has the puff sleeve and it's brightly colored like I like. And 
it's a pretty plaid. Like what more could I ask for in a blouse? And it was only 15, $13.50, you guys, so cheap. I just love Crossroads, like it's just my favorite. I love it so much, but I'll probably wear this one tucked into jeans. Okay, so speaking of jeans, I, I have mentioned this like once or twice, but um, I'm not like back into my regular sized jeans. I just, you know, I'm probably like two sizes bigger, um, but I, I just, I mean, I've never been pregnant first time. I don't know how long it takes you to like go back or if I even will go back to my pre-baby weight. Um, but I'm tired of waiting around and <laughs> like I need some jeans that fit now because I just miss wearing pants so much. So I thought, hey, go to Crossroads, get a pair of pants that are like way cheaper, you're not paying full price and wear them for as long as you need to wear them for. So I couldn't have been more happy that I found a pair of brand new, you guys, these had tags on them, Levi's rib cage jeans. So these are like my favorite cut of jeans. And I found them and they were the perfect size that I need right now. Um, the only thing was the bottoms, you guys. <laughs> these were like huge. I don't know what style it was, but like, the bottom of these pants came out probably like three more inches on the side. So they were like really, really wide leg. And I kind of wasn't into that. I wanted to make them more like straight leg. And so basically I just turned them inside out and then I started here and I just sewed all the way down and I took the legs in. So now they look a lot better. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I did crop these. So instead of trying to guess um, where to crop them. I just pulled out an old pair of jeans that I liked the length of and I made sure to lay them on top and I lined up the the crotch so that the inseam would be the same length and then I cut them off there and it was a perfect cut and now you guys these babies fit me so good and I just feel amazing and so happy to be back in pants. So I was so happy to find these. Actually I think they were only like 40 bucks too. So that was a really good deal. Yeah, there's a tip for you guys. If you're like, like me and you just had a baby, go to like a secondhand store, buy some jeans that fit you. There's no use to like get sad and depressed over the fact that your old jeans don't fit you. Just get some that do and wear them for as long as you need to wear them for. Okay, you guys, the last item that I got is pretty special. I wasn't sure about this, but then I tried it on and I was like, okay, this is actually a really beautiful coat. So I was automatically drawn to the color because it's like a cobalt blue um, and it's made well actually. And so I knew like it's made well and it's going to last me and um, it's in great condition. Yeah. And it's just a classic, you know, uh, just your classic type of coat. I don't know what style this is called, but anyways. It was $47.50 um, and so I thought like if this was actually brand new in the Madewell store it would probably cost a hundred or at least like $200 I'm guessing. So I felt like that was a great deal for it. I also loved the color. I think that this will go great with like all of the beanies that I got and the, the cardigans and everything and um, I was kind of on the fence about it at first because I thought, I don't know, it seems like it's kind of fancy, um, but I think that for me, I just need to style it in a more like edgy, grungy way to really have it fit my wardrobe. So I think I'm going to just try to do that and instead of like wearing it, you know, with like a nice pretty dress like this, I'd probably style it with like jeans and like maybe like a sweatshirt underneath or like a beanie or something like that. So to kind of make it look a little bit more tough. Um, but yeah, so that is all the stuff that I got and now I'm going to kind of put together some outfits for you guys so that you can see what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching and if you're not following me on my YouTube, um, it's Tiny Acorn. I post tons of outfit inspiration and stuff over there. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel um, and yeah, make sure to like this video if you like it. Bye.